Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Mark III Techmarine. Uh, so this is the Techmarine in Mark III armour from Forge World for Warhammer the Horus Heresy. Uh, this model will cost you £29.50. I know it's very expensive um, for just a single kind of space marine. It consists of, they don't tell you exactly how many parts it consists of, um, but by the looks of it, it's probably about 11, maybe 12 parts. Um, we'll count them up, but uh, that's what the box looks like. Um, bit of a shame that they haven't really like taken a picture of it and put it on there, but that's just what 412 boxes look like. Um, yeah, it's one of these. So, uh, will we get a plastic tech marine um, in Mark VI? I mean, that would be pretty good. Wouldn't it be awesome if they if they did, uh, you know, give give us all troop choices and HQ choices and things in the in the Mark VI. I mean, Mark VI isn't my, my favourite Mark III is, obviously, but uh, it would be good if we had plastic versions of uh, the, the units um, in the uh, Lieber books. So there's your 32mm base, I think it is. Um, there's your box. And this is the Mark III Tech Marine armour. Really like this model and the armour. Uh, shame you don't get a helmeted head. Um, that does suck, uh, you know, the Mark IV, I like the head, uh, but the armour is a bit lacking, whereas this is the opposite. Um, so if you've got a good head anywhere for Tech Marines, I mean, look at that detail in there, all the cabling and things, that's, that's lovely. Um, then uh, I suppose you could put that on, on here. I'm not just not a big fan of this helmetless Tech Marine. I think Tech Marines work better with their helmets on. Um, but yeah, you've got this awesome like power plant and uh, so servo arm that attaches to it. There's the bolter. I think it's just a bolter, not a bolt pistol. There's the head um, I'm banging on about. It's not, not amazing. Um, I might keep it on there, but if they did a really cool iron armor uh, helmet for the Tech Marine, I'd pick that up. But this is the uh, axe. One of the reasons why I got it, I really like that axe. Um, very bespoke. Um, it's got some cable and things inside. You've got the servo arm that looks good. Uh, I do prefer the weapon output. I do prefer the weapons on this one than the Mark IV. And then one of the best parts I'd say is the shoulder pauldrons. Oh, they look so cool. Lots of detail. There's cutouts, rivets, um, layered armor. You've got this skull on there. You've got the arms as well with the iron armor and the cable in and the little um, that computer on the van brace, I think it is. So, yeah, very nice parts as well. So that is the Tech Marine. Um, I can't say for sure whether it is worth the £29.50, like full £30. I'd probably price this one at £22 or so, or maybe uh, push 23 uh, But you do get a, a decent number of parts there. Um, it just, I think it would have been improved if they had a different uh, weapon option, like a hammer. Uh, as well as the axe um, and the helmet version as well so you know possibly if you wanted to um, swap it or a different range weapon um, then you could pick up another one uh, and because as it stands the apothecary and detachment and these tech marines they just yeah um, they don't really suit um, duplicates at the moment um, which is yeah it's a shame because you want to get more than more than one of them all Anyway, that is the Tech Marine in Mark III armour. What do you guys think? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.